Hello, Earth Angels. This is part three of our interview with Ed Spina. <laughs> Hello again. Hello again. Oh, this is so exciting. Ed is telling us that um, he thinks for Westerners or for a lot of people who have been perhaps struggling with the chakra system right. and couldn't feel it even after years of practicing, he has something, something very beautiful and that is glands. Right. Well, the Western, I didn't invent this. This is Western mystics came up with this, you know, centuries ago. Mm -hmm. They knew about this before the scientists were able to identify, you know, some of these glands or what they actually did. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're teaching about it and, and you're offering tools how to, how to clean the glands, right. the energy yeah. centers. There are lots of tools to clear out energy centers, whether they're talking about chakras or glands. I mean, you have, uh, breath, you know, pranayama, mm -hmm. breathing exercises. You have some people that do certain poses, yoga poses or mudras, hand mm -hmm. positions mm -hmm. to channel energy. There's sound, certain uh, sacred vowel sounds activate different glands or organs in your body. So there are many ways to do this. The way that I found to be most effective, you know, thanks to the teachers I had, is just with the pure, pure energy. And uh, should I... Talk yeah, so that. so basically that would be wonderful. Yeah, if you can share your secrets with us. Uh, so so uh, just so I understand, so our viewers understand, like how many glands are there in our system, and 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 while clearing them, is there a specific order? So you start like with the. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what order you typically start with. In, in one of the meditations I do, we start at the top, just so people have a natural progression going from top to bottom. But if I'm working with someone as an individual, I often start in the middle, right, with their heart, because the energy will expand, and so I may as well start in the middle and go to one edge, and then go back to the middle and go down. So, but mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter when they're clear, they're clear, and mm -hmm. that that's the objective. So, can you name the glands for us? Sure, the pineal gland corresponds with your crown chakra, the pituitary gland, uh, your third eye, and uh, these two work together. So, some systems they have them reversed. But uh, it, it doesn't matter. They're both important with uh, developing your psychic ability, visions, and connecting with higher worlds. Mm -hmm. So those are the first two. The throat, the thyroid gland, the thymus gland, the heart, the uh, spleen, which is to the left of your stomach, the, where, all the, where all the glands, where all the nerves come together in your solar plexus. Uh, it, it's not actually the stomach, but where all the nerves come together. If everyone, if you're ever getting hit in the stomach, and you, you can black out, it's because all the glands are there, all the nerves are there. Hmm. That's another energy center. Uh, but below the stomach is this, the uh, pancreas. To the right of the stomach is the liver. And uh, in the, behind your uh, stomach, you have two kidneys. And atop the two kidneys are your adrenal glands. And then the last gland, depending on if you're a man or a woman, would be the uh, testes or ovaries. Uh, mm -hmm. So those would be the 12 glands in the Western system of, mm -hmm. of mysticism. But, but the chakras, you, be, you do believe in chakras, yeah. right? That, that would be one more level of abstraction. For example, the heart chakra, like I mentioned, would incorporate mm -hmm. the two glands in the center of your body. The throat chakra is a one-to-one -one correspondence. Third eye is the same, one-to-one -one correspondence, pineal, one-to-one -one correspondence, but then they, uh, you know, they lump the organs together, the solar plexus, and they lump the organs together with mm -hmm. one chakra. So you could be thought of as like one uh, conduit that channels into three different organs, for example. Mm -hmm. So if you want to visualize a chakra, you can do that, but I find it's easier. People know what, in general, what a liver looks like, what a... Mm -hmm spleen and pancreas would look like more readily than a, a nebulous wheel of light. Mm -hmm. But this wheel of light that the chakra is <laughs> uh, influences, or at least that's how I see it, right? right. That the, it comes through the chakra into our bodies and then it spreads out to the associate associated the organ, yes. Organs, yeah. okay. yes. Okay, well, wonderful. So I know about you that you offer a wonderful meditation about... Uh, energy centers clearing mm -hmm. so people can um, how, how, how can people get the meditation where can they find it okay well what the energy center clearing does it cleans out the energy centers using energy 
and the energy that I have infused into the meditation comes from as it was a result of the two mentors that I had one who opened me up and showed me that the world was much more profound and different than what I had been led to believe and the other one who uh, pumped my energy up to make it possible for me to open up these portals of energy that come through uh, much more easily so I can just wave my hand and basically send higher octaves of love uh, wherever I want to mm-hmm. but if you send them into your energy centers that will clean the debris that uh, gets lodged in those energy centers and make it uh, clearer and make it more easily you you can more easily connect with your I am presence and uh, at the end of this video we will tell you exactly how to get the CDs uh, or you know uh, you also have it on mp3 downloads da- yes. uh, as downloads but I just want to say from my personal experience because I know Ed for you know four years now four, four or five years now at least in this lifetime uh, in this lifetime <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say except oh. play 80s <laughs> um, so Often when I don't feel good, and especially last time, I remember it precisely, I was driving from Mount Shasta, California, where I mm, used to study until my teacher died not long ago uh, at the mystery school. And uh, I was driving back, um, it's 600 miles, and it's a long drive, and in the middle of the road, my body said, enough, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to drive on this (laughs) boring freeway, in this heat, I'm done. And I was trying to do different meditations in the car. Um, nothing was helping. So then I <laughs> called Ed oh. and Ed said, I'm going to clear you out. So can you tell us or just can you show a little bit to sure. to our viewers what you do, the opening of the tunnel? And and you can do it. Yeah, you know. we can give them a little sample as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, my energy mentor, my good friend Tommy, uh, got my energy high enough that I can just wave my hands and just with the intention of knowing that this opens up the portal of energy, it's higher octaves of love, there's no mystery to it, and then I can direct this energy to wherever I want. And if Sylvia's driving back from Man- Mount back from Mount Shasta, that's one place. If she was in London or Hong Kong, or it Slovakia. wouldn't make any difference, or Slovakia. <laughs> right, she might more, more likely be in Slovakia than Hong Kong. <clears throat> but the point is that this energy is beyond time and space, so there's no, no problem with sending it to anyone wherever they are. Uh, now, one thing I can share with uh, the viewers is that it took me a while before I got to be able to open up this portal. But what the viewers can do today, without any more training other than in 30 seconds, you'll know how to do this, is you can fill someone with energy, higher energy, uh, today without any more training. All you do is visualize the person right in front of you, a little six-inch version of them. Just like on your laptop, you have a little shortcut to the program. Just think of this as a shortcut to the person. And then just like you make a snowball, everyone except in uh, Florida and L.A. might know how to make a snowball, but you just pack snow as if you were packing snow, only instead of packing snow, you were packing love. And I imagine the highest, absolute, unconditional, infinite, divine love. And you're packing love into the person here that you visualize right here, and it can be you if, if you need a boost. And by just by doing this, you will fill yourself with love, with higher octaves of love. And that that will help you no matter what. If you're in a stressful situation and you're afraid of what people might think, you duck into the restroom and do it or <clears throat> into your cubicle, fill yourself with love, and you'll be able to handle much more stress than you could before then. Okay, so that's beautiful because I, you're just showing it here, how to do it, and I'm already feeling it. Yeah, people in the, will, should feel it over the video as well. Uh, it's beyond time and space and again you can watch this video a year from now ten years from now won't make any difference it's just knowing the intention is coming through the this Mm -hmm. portal and it will fill you so beautiful so if people want more of of, uh, your energy and uh, want to hear your guided meditation then they can order right just go to energycenterclearing.com in fact if you go there you'll get a, a, a free you can download a free escaping the matrix audio book talks about overcoming stress, fear, anger, disconnecting, disidentifying with your emotions, connecting more with your innermost self, being yourself, taking back your power, and ultimately escaping the matrix. You can get that for free just by going to the energycenterclearing.com website. 
but uh, on that there there's also a link where it talks more about the energy center clearing meditation where I actually guide you through cleaning out the 12 energy centers from a Western perspective and uh, it's, it's only 27 minutes and in 27 minutes you'll be totally relaxed and uh, Sylvia has been to a couple events where we have a group of people and I take them through this meditation and what happens is once the heart opens up people start radiating love from their innermost self out into the universe and it acts like a stimulus to other people in the room so it's almost like popcorn popping first one person they're gonna pop open and then the next person popcorn popping the whole room gets filled with love and uh, everyone gets blissed out well I'm already in the zone <laughs> uh, really no seriously I'm, uh, I'm I'm feeling the energy I, I felt the shift uh, yeah yeah that's beautiful so I suggest we'll end the segment and I want to ask you we will talk in the next next one about the your books okay but since we started to download the energies is it okay if we do a little meditation in the next segment sure okay See you soon.